Hey, what's good, Internet? It's your boy, Art. Um, I'll be going through some of the the character and uh, balance changes for Injustice Gods Among Us. Patch 1.06 just came out today as of this morning. So I'll be going through them in alphabetical order. So I'm going to start with uh, Aquaman, and he only has one change here, which, which is the cooldown on the Water of Life, his trait has been increased from 12 seconds up from 9 seconds so this means after the trait deactivates there's a 12 second cooldown before you can activate it again so any characters or matchups that were having that had trouble with um, Aquaman's trait especially fighting it so he has a strong defense should be a little bit easier now and you'll have more time to pick and choose your spots so anyway let's let it cool down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, that's it. And that is the only change for Aquaman. Hey, what's up guys? Going through some of these balance changes for Ares really quick. Um, his first change is improve the hitbox on, on his Divine Order, which is his 2-2 combo. So, apparently this will connect on more ranges, making your combos a little bit easier. Um, his second change is no longer possible to interrupt the super after it has connected. I'm assuming you can use some kind of armor move to blow through it. Not that I saw Ares super too often anyway since people are always using it for me to burn fireball and stuff. I think one of his new changes here you'll be seeing his um, his super even less because now you, you can meter burn his teleport just like Zatanna. So it recovers extremely fast when, when, when you meter burn it so it's going to be tricky. And because of the improved recovery, you can actually get some combos that, that weren't possible. I'm not going to show you like a long combo or anything. I just want to show you that you can link off it. Yep. So as you guys can see, meter burning off of it allows you to link now. So always a new combo opportunity. So Aries players, show me some stuff. Uh, the fourth change is his, his his teleports. His teleports will also change. So if you hold, so if you hold toward during his um, front transmission from, from, his, from his front teleport you're going to teleport further away yeah so like that's definitely crazy because now you can mix it up and by holding away during the uh, behind um, by the behind warp transmission you'll teleport farther away so you can definitely get in their head now there's like four different positions that you can teleport in so Ares definitely gonna mix it up and his teleport is completely invincible on wake up now so now Ares gonna have all sorts of mind games to mess with your head anyway guys just showing you guys some Ares changes okay I'm going through some uh, I'm going through some changes for uh, Bane right now so um, Bane's first change here he can apply a meter burn to his uh, to his Venom uppercut which I'm doing right now I have it on record mode um, the, the frame data says that for the follow-up, the follow-up here, it's uh, minus 8 on block. So, GL's back one is 9 frames. So, I'm trying to punish here, and I can't exactly punish. You can still, you, you can still whiff punish it, though. But, <laughs> you can see, it's kind of tough. Um, Alright, so, the second change is... Second change is there is an improved hitbox on the infinite crisis combo, and this is also minus eight on block. So we're talking about is forward, medium, down, heavy. So this is minus eight on block, and it causes the same kind of stagger that like the other move that you just saw, his uh, venom uppercut. So apparently this move is going to be viable now. All right, so third change is oh well, well actually I should say I should say like a fourth change well third change here is during the meter burn venom uppercut Bane no longer has extended armor after the move is complete so as you guys can see I was able to whiff punish it fine so any stray armor frames that were there are now gone there's one more change here and that is Bane now takes at level one venom he takes 95% full damage at level 2, he takes 85% full damage. And at level 3, he takes 70% full damage. 
So let's put this to the test with the standard GL combo, right? And this is like a standard everyday combo. We've seen it a billion times. Last one's what the damage is. Alright, so the damage is 30. So when I do level 1. Alright. Should be 29. Yep, and it was 29. So let's try it with 2. Twenty-six, and then let's try it with three. Now nah, only does twenty-two. So yeah, and I think Bane's definitely going to be a little bit better. He has like some new tools and some gimmicks to get in. So see what the Bane players, especially Gur, come up with. Anyway, guys, those are the changes for Bane. Hey, what's up, guys? Going to do some changes for uh, Batgirl real quick. She doesn't really have much changes, just slight fixes to the character. She's pretty much going to be the same. Uh, first change is y you can now parry her, her uh, down light attack. Apparently, you were not able to parry this before, but now you can. Using Killer Frost parry to do it. Um, second change is the slide size of her hitbox will slightly increase, meaning she'll be vulnerable to a wider array of attacks. I guess it's gonna be easier to hit her with like cross ups and stuff, stuff like that. But like, I guess we'll find out as the game progresses and we see more Batgirl play. I know Sonic Fox blew it up at the Fall Classic. Shouts to him. And the third change, like I said, it's, it's a really small list of changes. So, the third change is now you can no longer duck the bat wheel. Uh, certain characters were able to duck this. And I said it is an overhead, so I gotta react accordingly. So, yep, those are the only change for Batgirl. Like I said, it's not much, it's just slight fixes. Shout out to Batgirl, she's freaking cheap. Alright, going through some Batman changes real quick. Um, still think he's gonna, still gonna be a pretty good character. First change is um, his back 2 3 on whiff. He's slightly easier to punish. Yeah, so in the previous version, a lot of times when he'd be in that rollback animation, it he wouldn't really be able to punish him. You couldn't punish him at all. Now you can definitely punish him during that roll, so it should be a lot easier to punish. Um the second change is Alright, second change is the mechanical bat's character power has been increased to 9 seconds up from 6 seconds. So, his trade is still going to be good, just like a, a little bit less OP. Let's throw it out there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, so now he's got to think like a little bit more about his bat management. Still gonna be good. He's gonna have all this crazy, crazy, crazy rush down. Um, with with his bats, I just think about it a little bit more now. S still solid. Still gonna be a really good trait. Um, okay, let's see what else. The uh, third change is straight grapple can now be evaded, parried by projectile counter special moves. I mean, like, it's not too often that you see um, Batman kind of just doing this in open space just to do it. So, but anyway, uh, I mean, Green Lantern have a parry, so I can't show you here. But yeah, those pretty much are the changes for Batman. Just a bunch of like small, small little fixes. Nothing really too major. What's up, guys? I'm just going through the change list for a Black Adam. Pa apparently, his damage got normalized. Really? Really? Wow. <laughs> that doesn't look uh, that doesn't look very normalized to me at all. Well, the the change list says slightly increase the amount of damage scaling on combos. So I said like he hits like a truck, but like you know, slightly less. Maybe a couple of percentage points less. Anyway, let's go to the rest of the changes here. Um reduce the duration of the uh orbs of Seth, the uh, character power, to uh four point five seconds and increase the cooldown to nine seconds, up from seven seconds. So Let's count this. Let's, let's round it off at uh, 
14 seconds from start to uh, cooldown to recovery. Starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yep, so now you have a little bit more time to uh, to evade his trade. Thank goodness. It's still going to be good, though. All right, so his second change is Boot Stomp. The, the Booty Boot Stomp. It's now minus 21 on block. Now from 15. So now, pretty much, you can punish just for any move in the game, basically. I mean, not that it wasn't punishable already. So it was pretty punishable, but but now you can definitely punish with it with anything. Um, next change is this will only hit grounded opponents. The longer you hit them airborne, in that case he's on the ground. But as long as he's in the air, no longer hit. So it's definitely easy to jump over lightning as a whole. Next change is. Uh, meter burn lightning is now minus one. It used to be plus eight before. Can you believe that? That's crazy, huh? So, now, still really good. Pushes back hella far. And yeah, like, I mean, I barely see the difference. It's just now that it's only slightly disadvantaged instead of having it, instead of it being plus, but it pushes them far away, so uh, I don't really think it matters. Uh, I right, see what else. The meter burn version of Black Magic no longer conflicts with hard attack balance or juggle limiting. Does this mean at the end of combos? Are you talking about this at the end of combos? I think somebody can elaborate. I don't know. Uh, it means at the end of the combo, the uh, cloud will always juggle. Um, this is kind of, kind of unclear. I mean, I'm not a Black Adam player, so I'm just going through this change list. Okay, uh, just as backdash to cover less distance and to recover in 31 frames, up from 26. This recovers in 31 frames now and seems to cover half the distance. The front dash is now 18 frames, up from 16. So you're not really going to notice a difference in his... Uh, I mean, by, by visual cues, you can't really notice a difference in his forward dash too much. But the back dash, obvious difference. You're, you're going to be able to catch him now. Which is one of the things everybody was complaining about. Uh, Alright, let's see. Fixed issue with the orbs of Seth labeled unblockable during practice mode well, when they hit mid. Well, I guess... Yeah, uh, they're all mids now. Fix an issue where Black, Act, where Black Adam could stack two sets of the orbs of Seth, really? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, let's see, so the last change is here. Improve hit advantage on the Eye of Horus combo. So, talking about this. Looks like you get a setup. Now, I mean, that's cool. Yeah, um, I mean, you probably get like a jump two cross up setup, or like a cross up dive kick setup. I mean, I don't know, you guys are the Black Adam players, come up with some stuff. <laughs> but yeah, um, seems like, well I, did, well, I did take a lot of stuff away. Um, seems like it's going to be useful for something now, uh, I guess. I mean, I don't know how it was before, but um, you guys definitely let me know in the comments as Black Adam players. Will this, so, does this move make up for everything that you lost? I still think you're going to be good. I think I, I think it'd be totally fine, but yeah. Um. Anyway, those are the changes for uh, Black Adam. It's not that bad, guys. He's still good. Yeah, what's up, guys? Going through some quick change for Catwoman. Uh, first change is both the high and low fly invade now have one startup frame. So that means anything with a gap can be blown up. Timing is a little bit tight though, but it's definitely doable. Yep. There you go. And 
yeah, so n any gap for any string, if Catwoman's on point, she could definitely dodge it and uh, and get in there. So I think like coming down the line, that could be a pretty big game changer. The uh, second change is her own, her cat dash, which already blew through projectiles, now blows through two hits of armor. So it's gonna be crazy. So yeah, those are the only changes for Catwoman. There's really not much. Um, yeah, but the, the evade, it's pretty much the evade, and the cat scratch got a little bit better. So now she'll be able to blow through stuff. And yeah, I'm scared. I think Catwoman the stream was extremely good already, but pretty slept on. But now, it definitely, definitely a big problem. Better make sure you don't have any gaps. Better make sure you have no gaps in your block strings, man. Or you're not doing two-year projectiles like Meter Burn Rocket, which will now get blown up. But yeah, um, those are the only changes um, for Catwoman. It's just like um, slight, slight tweaks, but they do make a world of difference. All right, going through some changes for uh, Cyborg real fast. Um, so Cyborg has a couple of changes. Um, first one is loosen the input requirements for his grapple special moves when performed during a combo. Wow, this feels super easy. I used, like, I never wanted to play Cyborg because you can never do the grapple, but now I can go from doing it like never to almost every time. It's crazy. Which was like this from the jump, man. I had way too much fun with this. Alright, anyway. So, the full activation time for the repair circuit, which is this trait, health generation is now 2 seconds. So, you recover your health in 2 seconds during the time that you activate it. And it regenerates double the amount of health. But the cooldown period is, is 8 seconds, which is up from 3 seconds. So, it's definitely kind of a trade off. You recover life faster, and you get double the amount of health, but the cooldown is longer to balance it out. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Wow. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess if you can get some zoning started, if you can get like some zoning started and you get like some good runaway, especially off the missiles, I, I could definitely see using the trait. I mean, especially if the missiles have the same amount of pushback, which I'm assuming they do since I don't see any change notes here. But I could definitely see setups where you're forced to block the missiles or, or like the instant air fireballs. You get a chance to trade up, you know, if the cooldown time is long. It'll it allow him to run away, I think, if he manages his meter properly. He's going to be pretty good. Um, yeah, and the, the last change is fix an issue where you are unable to perform Cyborg's forward or back grapple from the down back or down forward position in advanced controls. Alright, so what's the motion for the uh, grapple in advanced controls? Oh, yep, I'm, I'm holding down back. So I'm holding down back here. I'm going to up forward, doing a tiger knee motion. So it pretty much works as intended. And now I'm holding down forward. Yep. So it pretty much works fine. Um, shout out to Paulo for fixing that bug. And yeah, those are pretty much the only changes for Cyborg. But I think these could potentially be some huge ones. Not the grapple. Now the grapple is a lot easier and like the tree can actually be used in a match. Let me know what you guys think. Okay guys, going through some death stroke changes. Um, just a couple of very small changes here. A little could help him. Um, so his trait right now, the activation time, it, it starts up in 60 frames. Before you start up in 85 frames. But it lasts, so basically it starts up faster, but ends quicker because it only lasts three seconds, which is down from five seconds. And it has a cooldown of six seconds, up from three seconds. So during that cooldown, you can't hit him with bullets. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, now it's cooling down, you can't hit him at all. Wow, that's a really long time to go without it. So it is definitely kind of a trade-off. 
Still takes a, it still feels like it takes a lot to activate, in my opinion. So it seems like I can only get like three gunshots off. Three, four? No, I can't even get four. I don't think I can get four. Try one more time. Yeah, it seems like I can only get three shots max, and, and then it cools down. So, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of torn on it, especially because the cooldown is, is only six seconds. Maybe, like, as a round closer? Like I said, it still feels like a significant amount of startup. I'm going to hold up back. So, yeah, it, it is, it, it is like, a significant amount of startup still. Like, I don't really notice that much of a difference. But, hey, you know, you know who knows? Um... And also, another thing is, like I said, when you're powered up like this, you're doing less damage. You're doing less damage. Yes, that's only 11% meter burned. So yeah, like I said, it is definitely a trade-off. And the second change is the eye for an eye suit removed now is 9 frames of additional armor. So, so you can blow through moves now. You have a couple extra frames to blow through moves that you normally couldn't. Anyway, that's it for Deathstroke. Those are the only changes. Okay, guys, going through some changes for, for Doomsday. Um, it seems to have some very small changes. So, well, I guess it's going to allow him to get in a little bit easier. So, the first change is the meter burn version of his Venom Special Moon now has two hits of armor. So, now make him block. Whoa! That was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, so as you can see, yeah, I was able to uh, blow through his non-meter burn venom with my meter burn venom for two hits of armor. The second one is I don't I, I don't exactly I don't exactly know what this means. Um, the second one is they're saying that. If Doomsday is hit into a 3D wall balance while his character power is active, the interactive objects no longer rendered useless for the rest of the match. So, what does that mean? Uh, anyway, whatever problem the interactable had, interactables had while you was traded up, is now gone. Try one more time with this, I guess. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty much. I'm not sure what they mean by a uh, 3D wall bounce. Do, do they mean the uh, transition? Do they mean the splash damage or what? Yeah, it's kind of nebulous with these patch notes. Uh, and anyway, I'm sure you guys can let me know. Um, but yeah, those are the only two changes for a Doomsday. Alright, going through some changes for Flash. So the first change is the hitbox and the flying uppercut is now improved. So it looks like you'll be able to use it as preemptive any air. Yeah, you'll still, uh, I've still seen this move trade you know, like that, but overall, if you know they're gonna jump, yeah, you're definitely gonna be able to light, you're definitely gonna be able to light them up. So yeah, seems like seems like an improvement hitbox wise. Second change. Um, second change is slightly increased uh, damage scaling. Um, I, I just recorded a combo to save time. Like I, I mean, I don't play Flash. I, I just went through the, uh, I just went through the combos on a uh, Test Your Might and, and and compared them to the damage in this version. So I, I just did one combo. The combo, according to the Test Your Might um, combo thread, this combo in the previous version of the game did 37% damage. Now it only does 35. Four two one, special meter burn. One one four two one Sonic Pound. So this combo, you just do thirty seven. Just keep it a basic. Yeah. So now it does only thirty five percent. So I'm assuming he got slight damage nerfs across the board. Like I'm sure the Flash players can elaborate. You know, I just I just did a combo just to uh, see what the scaling is now. Okay. So the third change is. It's crouching medium attack. It 
and now has a block advantage of 11. This is minus 11, so, so you, you can heavily punish this on block now. Down from plus, so this was plus one on block. Yeah, I knew this was plus one, so you just throw it out there, but now there's a penalty for throwing this out and missing. As increased, and if it misses, look how, look how much recovery frames it has when he misses. But at the same time, like the, the hitbox, this move is extremely good, and the, the reward for landing this is, is a pretty hefty combo, so... I guess the fair trade-off, you know, make it so it's not hurt derp. You can't just throw it out there, but if it hits, you get rewarded. Um, third change is... Third change is... Speed Zone Super now performs 34.5. Not 38.5. What is it with Netherrealm like nerfing like supers by like four percent, like nerfing combos by four percent? Yo, it's like four percent their magic number or something. Um, yeah. And other than that, these are like two specific fixes: fix an issue that allowed flashes flying uppercut to pass through some characters without doing the damage. Fix an issue where interrupting time loop would sometimes result in the background color staying corrupted, which sounds like a pretty hilarious bug. But yeah, those are pretty much the, those are pretty much the only change for Flash. I think that um, his flying uppercut, I think his flying uppercut buff, if I'm correct, is definitely gonna help him out. Slightly increased damage scaling, down to now punishable, but still a really good move. Anyway, on to the next character. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm just going through some changes for uh, Green Arrow real fast. Um, seems to be like one small fix and uh, one buff. So the first one is this now correctly enters a crouching state when firing low arrows. So uh, I guess there were some projectile highs that hit him even when he was in his crouching state. Now it's been fixed. Sinestro's fireball is technically a mid by the way even though like uh, the angle of it is very high. So I wouldn't be able to duck this anyway at, at most ranges. I was just trying to get close and doing it for the sake of the video. But yeah. um. That's the first change. The uh, second change is... So Stinger... Uh, so Stinger on block is minus 13. He used to be minus 25. So it's still pretty unsafe. They're saying if you meter burn it, you're at advantage. And look at the pushback on that. That's gonna be very good. Uh, I wonder. I wonder, like, what the frame advantage of that is. I mean, since like the frame dad does a lot of frame dad does seem to be corrected. Stinger. Yeah, it doesn't say what the block doesn't say what the block advantage is. But I'd be willing to wager this is fairly safe. So like, he's definitely gonna get some mix up. He's definitely gonna get some mix up opportunities off this because, like I said, this is a low into an overhead. So you gotta be aware. I'm also wondering if you can delay this. Can you delay this at all? Slightly, but not really. Nah, you can't really delay it. But yeah, th those are the only two changes for Green Arrow. But I, I think the Stinger is going to come in handy sometimes. Definitely, for sure. Yo, Christ G, please. Alright guys, going through some uh, Green Lantern changes real quick. The one change he has is a two frame OTG window. After the meter burn, Lanterns might, like, th that's gone. So now, like, um, I believe we're going to have to alter some of our setups as Green Lantern players to change some of the setups slightly. So, I tried it. Yeah, when I try to go for the early back one, yeah, it does not juggle there. Or when I try to go for the cross up, it's a lot harder now. It still works though. Anyway, the, the timing for stuff is gonna be timing for the stuff seems it's like it's gonna be slightly tighter. Yeah, the OTG when the OTG window there is gone. I mean, so you, you can still get the cross up setups. But a lot of the dirty uh, back one setups 
player used to abuse them are now gone. But notice how I can still hit them at the tail end. But they're able to wake up there, though. So you can still do it. It's just like now, like that two frame window is gone. Alright, so yeah, so that's pretty much the only Green Lantern change. I mean, I don't think there's really much you can change about him. Uh, I think that he's pretty balanced. But that two frame OTG window definitely was nice, and it definitely did help in setups. So hopefully, you can find something else cool. Shout out to the core. Alright, guys, going through some Harley Quinn changes real quick. Um, the first change is the single shot down and heavy now has a block advantage of minus 15 and results in a hard knockdown so um, I'm assuming you'll be able to get some ambiguous setups I, I can totally see combos landing and I can totally see like setups that land and sweep that allow for mess up Okizemi situations since they're going for the hard knockdown like they, they obviously want you to capitalize off the setups that this like this move grants here second move is the uh, take back medium the take aim, I'm sorry. Take aim, back and medium. This move has an improved hitbox. So it might have a phantom hitbox? Maybe? Looks like it. Looks like it hits slightly farther. Like, like I said, I'm not a Harley player, so... I'm sure the Harley Quinn players would know, but... Definitely does look like it has a phantom hitbox. Uh, third change is... You can no longer interrupt the mount bomb super move after it has connected. So uh, I guess there are various ways to hit her out of it that are gone now. Um, at least that's what it says on paper. I mean, you, you never know. Um, fourth one is the bag of tricks. Now it's an 8 second cooldown period up from 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I guess their bag of tricks is too cheap, huh? <laughs> um, and the fourth one is Aquaman can no longer use his water of life character power to escape to escape your super. Man, Aquaman's trick is so broken. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But um, just one thing I wanted to see was I wanted to see how the uh, down heavy looks like on block doesn't seem like it pushes you very far and like it, it's only it's minus 15 so you'll be able to get a heavy punish but yeah those are the only changes um those are the main changes for harley quinn i want to see what what she can do with their single shot on uh, knockdown setups in the future okay i'm going through the uh the one hawk girl change that she has apparently yeah, the, the one change she has, not very much. The uh, meter burn version of the mace charge will force opponents to block. In some instances, small characters will be able to duck under this. But apparently, like, that, that's fixed now. So yeah, that's pretty much the one Hawk Girl change. I tried to I tried to do this in cross-up situations. I, mean, I was thinking about cross-ups when I said autocorrect. But a lot of times when you do it in a cross up, like, they'll just get hit. But yeah, it's the one Hawk Haw Girl change. The uh, Mace Charge works now on um, smaller hitbox opponents. What's up, guys? I'm just going over Joker's changes. So, I just went over his parry. As you guys can see, the parry has one frame startup. So, it is possible to interrupt things with, um, like, block strings or small gaps consistently every time. This is a one frame move now. The uh, the low parry still has two frames to start up, so it's kind of tough, but it's still doable. Um, Second change is the, the Acid Blossom now consistently has a block advantage of, of 5. Of plus 5, regardless of stance switch. So apparently when you switch stances, the block advantage is inconsistent. And stance switch always causing problems. But this isn't really a buff, it's more of like a fix. 
So uh, so anyway, now it works as intended and is now plus five. Um, his crowbar change, his crowbar change could be pretty good though. So his crowbar change on block. It has an advantage of a uh, minus four. So now with uh, no two frame punch super in the game, this is pretty much safe. At, like all ranges has a pretty beefy hitbox. I like how I push them back too, and it also says that the uh, meter burn version of it um, gives you more time for uh, setups. So. So you definitely have enough time to set something up here. Like literally I have enough time to set up. I have enough time for the meter burn parry to run up teeth. So I can definitely do something on paper. Alright, so yeah, so those are pretty much the uh, only two changes for Joker. It's going to be interesting to see um, what kind of crowbar setups people come with now. Now they have all this fame advantage. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, I'm going through the one killer frost change which has in the change list. The one killer frost change is you can parry um, armor attacks. So that's definitely that's definitely kind of cool. No more um, No more armor breaking. Shout out to Killer Frost Parry. This is the this is the one change for her. Everything else is unchanged. All right, I'm going through some Lex changes real quick. Uh, first change is charging the last blast will now result significantly more damage. R right now it's at seven percent right now, which is a buff. So now you can actually trade. Uh, you can actually trade in Lex's favor against a lot of projectiles. The uh, Lance Blast does 13% on hit. Being that Lex is setup heavy, like he might be able to fake some people out with this. Um, second change is overall hitbox changes to make uh, combos more consistent. I never really saw Lex players having trouble with their combos. I mean, I mean, like I have no idea, like uh. Uh, I haven't really seen Lex players drop their combos too much, but then again, the only Lex player I really see blowing it up in tournaments is, is like Fab and, and Revolver. So m maybe they can elaborate a little bit on that. Um, third change is Lex pros will always put the victim in hit stun when hitting inside of a combo. So, oh. I mean, I guess like now it's fixed. Uh, like I guess in some situations it wouldn't, or maybe this opens up new combo opportunities that that normally wouldn't be possible. Yeah, you, know, you guys can tell me. Um, the fourth change is Aquaman can no longer use his, his character power, his trait to escape Lex super move after it connects. So apparently you could, but now you can't. Uh, like I said, it's very rare that you guys see supers in this game. Uh, so, so yeah, so overall. I mean, like, the, the fireball buff is nice. This hitting as intended is nice. But we'll, we'll have to see. I, I think Lex is, is pretty darn good in this game. Uh, I, I think he's, like, upper mid, in my opinion. It's like some things holding him back. But anyway, those are the changes for Lex Luthor. What's up, guys? Going through some level changes real fast. First change is the hook charge. The hook charge special move now hits as an overhead. And with the improved start of 13 frames down from 16. It has improved viability as a wake up attack. I'll try to do moves. Try to beat it. Nope. It is beating every wake up. And it, the second change to the uh, hook charge is a meter burn version now has two hits of armor. So now I can, I can blow up wake ups. Like that. So yeah, shout out to two hits of, of armor. He's definitely getting it now. His third change is... Our third change is... 
All pump shots have extended reach when nuclear shells are loaded, and now you load two shells instead of one. So this is definitely like crazy far. Jeez. And it says when a nuclear when a nuclear shell is loaded, the second meter burn pump shot blast will have significantly increased damage. That's just fire one. That's fire two. Twenty one percent, huh? That's something else, man. 28%! Jeez! It's crazy. That is crazy. Um, and the last change is the main man super move now hits the uh, opponent as an overhead for a super. It's kind of fast. Wow. So, with Lobo having this kind of crazy mid range control when he's loaded up. I guess the theory is, like, you know, when you're loaded up and stuff, and your space control is all good, you can sneak in, like, command grabs and stuff, and really blow them up. But, yeah, but anyway, those are pretty much changes for Lobo. I can't wait to see, like, what kind of combos he have. I know he's going to be so cool, and I think he's definitely boosted up in the tiers. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just going through some changes for uh, Martian Manhunter. First change is a downward phase assault can hit people in the air higher. So it's definitely a welcome change. Shout out to that. Um, second change is. His, um, his back 1 3 no longer results in a hard knockdown. So it's definitely going to mess up your setups a little bit. But. Still in there, not nonetheless. Just a little harder now. Nothing is guaranteed at this point. Uh, the third change is Martian Manhunter now has less fair advantage after performing a forward throw. Yeah, like it's he, he stuck he stuck for a longer state, so it's definitely like like any setup that he had off the forward throw was pretty much ruined. I mean, you can still do something, but it's not guaranteed at all. Not by any means. I'm, I'm trying to press forward. See, it, it lets me out of the uh, throw animation like a little bit later now. So, you know, you're not really going to get any setups. And now Martian Manhunter is now properly pushed out of the corner when performing throws. So, uh, I guess shots and normalizations and a slight back 1-3 nerf. That's pretty and like a slightly better downward phase assault. That's pretty much it for a uh, Martian Manhunter, guys. Yep, bunch of small fixes and normalizations. All right, I'm going over uh, Nightwing's uh, one change. So in staff mode, Nightwing's one change is in staff mode. The last set of staff spin, my meter burn will now hit smaller characters. So let's have him crouch. Yep, so it pretty much hits as expected. Yeah, um, of course this move does give you a lot of frame advantage on block, but you know, it costs a meter, so it's all good. And that is Nightwing's one change, which was a normalization, pretty much. Alright, sup guys, going through some Scorpion changes. First one says, correcting the issue with some combos with doubling the normal scaling. I mean, I know we got a damage nerf, but... Nah, like, 30%. I don't know what it was before, but, um... Like, a Perfect Legend on Twitter was saying that Scorpion does a little bit more damage now. But, he's, but he feels relatively unchanged. Um, says adjusted the hitbox on his grave digger to hit all crouching opponents. Oh, I 
I see. So like, this is a mid overhead string? Hmm, wow. And it says this string is now minus one. It was plus five before. A mid overhead string plus five, huh? Wow. <laughs> well, anyway, it's gone now. Um, the third one is the bloody spear cannot be evaded, parried by projectile counter special moves. And there's also an issue where, uh, where if you do a super versus Aquaman while he's in his water of life, it would result in Scorpion getting knocked down. Sounds like a crazy bug. Um, Scorpion's teleport punch use a pass to opponents who are in a state where they cannot be repelled. That is now fixed. Like I said, it just seems to be like a bunch of minor changes for Scorpion in the uh, the damage tweaking department. And, and also like on this one uh, grave digger string so I don't know like it, it's kind of like undecided it just seems like normalization for the most part but yeah but that's pretty much it for scorpion um, I, I wonder if people are gonna start playing him again like uh, I mean if his damage is good uh, I don't know we'll see what's up guys going through Shazam changes right now so increase the damage on the regular and meter burn versions the Herculean Might and Achilles Crush command grabs while also slightly improving the hitboxes. So I think by, by my standards, by Street Fighter standards, that's pretty goddamn far for the stand grab. So regular version does 13. Regular version does 9. A standing grab. And for the crouching one. Beauty Burn version does 17. Regular version does 14. Um, let's see what else. The Mighty Charge. The back medium hard combo. This pops up to allow for juggle combos. Here's a sample combo that I took with it. Yeah, you know, so opens up definitely some nice new opportunities there. Um Shazam's trait now has proper damage scaling. Uh, I'm not sure what was messed up about it before, but I do have a simple combo with uh, with trait here to show you. Yep, 38. Uh, I guess before I guess before it did a lot less. All right, so let's see. So what else? So. So there's more block damage on his stand heavy. Apparently now it does 0.23%. Like, uh, I mean, how much... If this was adjusted, how much did it do before? If this was increased in 0.23%, that's kind of crazy. So the next one is... Increase the damage output to the Bolt of Zeus and the Atlas Tornado. Meter burn version of that is 15, regular version is 8. For Tornado, regular is 10. Meter burn version is 16%. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all the changes for Shazam. Ho hopefully, he can get in now. <laughs> Smash out something to fight in the middle now. Like everybody was saying forward B. I mean this ser this series is good, but they just played two characters with OP stage. Like people need to go back to B now. But anyway, that was the only change in the game. I mean I'm sure there's a bunch of players that were really happy with that. It's like they, they wanted something to be safe, you know what I mean? Well, you got it. What's up guys, two changes for you to uh, know about with uh, Solomon Grundy. The first is his, um, is his command grab, the pain chain, character power, 
can no longer be parried. For some reason, you were able to parry it. I don't know why, but yeah, like no, that's gone. So good stuff. So the second change is he has more damage on the regular and meter burn versions of his Grave Rot special attack. So regular version does 1% now before a power up for each tick. And the meter burn version does 2.5 with each tick. Like I said, like if you do your chain grab, you can get get even more damage than that. Alright, so, so now I have the power up. So now let me do the rot now. So now the regular version of the rot does 1.20 instead of uh, 1% each tick. And the meter burn version does 3% each tick. Wow. If someone could find a way to stack that, like off a reset setup, then that would be kind of ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> those are the only two changes um, for Solomon Grundy. Alright guys, going to some Superman changes right now. Um, the first change on the list, meter burn version of the Flying Punch now has two hits of armor. So, so if anything, Superman will be able to get to the corner that much easier with this move. That's some great wall carry. So, allows him to do what he does best. Increase the amount of damage scaling on some combos here. Like I'll show you an example of um, I'll show you an example of a corner combo. How much it does now? A standard corner combo, nothing too fancy. And so instead of it doing like 70 something percent, it, it does like 52 percent. So it's definitely pretty normalized, but still a lot of damage. Still a lot. That's still a lot of damage. Um. His super has five frames start up instead of two, and it's now a mid. So it's still really good. It's still really freaking good, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, like two two frames is kind of crazy. I mean, now like now like it's no longer the super that can punish things that no nobody else can punish. Still a great move. Still amazing. I don't think inert the damage against the 34. I think they kept that 34. I wasn't even looking. Yeah, still 34. The ground and air heat vision attacks have additional recovery. So as you can see, Superman takes that much longer to float down. Same for this too. A little bit longer recovery. Um, let's see what else. Um, no change to the heat zap in terms of recovery. It's still the same. Forward to now, and it now has a lot less range in general. You used to go a lot farther than that, so you will be able to lift punish him. I see the range it covers is about here. Still a lot, but if you whiff this, this is the big problem. If you whiff this, you'll be able to whiff punish him, even if he commits to a three. So. Yeah, it, it's definitely, definitely feels a lot better. Uh, I really like the range. It is a lot more fair because normally the pressure was so great that like he would just get you just for trying to get away. And finally, like it's reduced something fair. Still a good move though. Still definitely a good move, but definitely range reduction. And there is some damage scaling after using the heat zap special move. So I also recorded a combo that shows that. Yeah, so overall at this point in time, it seems like going for the uh, it seems like going for the harder combos are not really worth it, and it actually does like less damage. I was trying to do um, four, two, three, three heat zap, three trait, three meter burn breath, heat zap, three scoop, three breath, fifty three percent only. So why even bother? Just go for the simpler combos. Anyway, Superman is still a pretty strong character. Um, his corner damage is still good. 
definitely normalize the rest of the cast. I'm a, I'm a can't wait to see who's going to be able to compete with Superman in the long run. I'm really looking forward to it. So anyway, these are the Superman changes, guys. Not as drastic as you might have thought they were, huh? I still think he's going to be good. Uh, hey guys, what's up? Seems to be only one change for Diana. I think she's still going to be pretty good. Um, her only change is, says, in Sword Dance, her directional heart attack, I'm assuming they mean her forward three, back three, is no longer able to be clashed. This was actually clashable? Really? Paula, please. Well, anyway, now it's fixed. <laughs> it's just like a... Not even like a buff or a nerf. It's just like a norm another normalization. So that's pretty much the only change of Wonder Woman. I, I just wanted to show you what it was. <laughs> Alright, I'm going through some of the change lists for, um, for or Zatanna. Um, let's see. So, the first change is loosen the input requirements of her special moves. So, definitely seems easier to come out. Does seem lenient. But, you know, I'm trying various inputs, trying to rotate the stick. That works too. <laughs> Can I do up back? I'm trying various inputs, but it seems everything has to end in up. If you want to do another motion, so yeah. The, the input requirements to teleport move is a little bit easier. You can only cancel her via tape twice during a ground combo, looks like. Interesting. Hey, what's good, guys? Going through some, uh, going through some Zod changes real fast. Um, I see what's up. So, first change is his trait can no longer be parried. Apparently, this is able to be parried. I don't know why, but it's gone now. Um, and they apparently also have proper damage scaling, quote unquote, which, it, uh, which um does mean damage scaling. Like so, I, I think some of the combos are reduced. So, this combo I was reading on Test Your Might, um, it it did. Somebody said it did 44, but now it's doing uh 33 percent, something like that. I mean, it's just a basic trade combo, just to see, like um, just to see how it scales. Nothing too fancy. No one can help you. Yeah, so apparently, like this combo used to do like uh, used to do 41, 41 percent. Something like that. Um, got nerfed a couple of percentage points, so yeah, there is some scaling on that. And now, and now, like uh, the grab works properly now. In the old version, it was definitely bugged, and you'd cross people up, and then you'd never be able to use your trait anymore. And it was kind of crappy, <laughs> to be honest. But now it actually works as intended. So one, one change is this has six frames now instead of one. A lot of people, a lot of people would use this instantly. So, yeah, it was, it was definitely pretty darn good. But I don't think it's too much of a big loss. I think that um, Zod player still be able to use this move and, and punishes, but it's just not one frame anymore. But I still think it's pretty good. Noticeably slower though, obviously. He has six frames to one. Um, also, the the hitbox is improved on the forward uh, two one combo. So now it'll always hit crouchers all the time. In case you're wondering about that. Um, another change is Zod's uh, down light. And light medium. Oops. Is light medium no longer knocked down. So you're forced to do stuff. I guess. And anyway, that's it for that's it for Zod's changes. Um, like I said, this is like another character that got a bunch of fixes. Like st stuff that he needed, and got some slight nerfs with the uh, trait.
All right, guys, wanted to show the uh, player match, the player rematch option real quick. I think this is going to be great for tournaments. So right now there's a new menu here for a restart match. You guys want a quick restart? Wow, incredible. It's going to save so much time in tournaments. That's awesome. Same applies for online too, by the way. All right, going through some more general system changes. Um, it costs two bars to throw an interactable meter burn now. This is an awesome, awesome change since um, can't use one bar to spam it anymore. Um, if you apply a meter burn to if you apply you apply a meter burn to your back three or forward three, you now inflict fifty percent more damage. So look at that, like that's twenty nine percent. Now watch if I do back three into back three. 19%. So if you want to do two meter burn back threes, you technically can. And you also take uh, 50 you also take 50% less damage when hit during the armored part of a move. So if you get hit out of it, you're going to reduce your damage by a lot. So I can see people closing out the rounds a lot with meter burn back three in the back three. Definitely. They have the two bars, why not? Why the hell not? Uh, there's also been a bunch of frame data corrections. Like I've noticed some things like are are more accurate now. Uh, I don't know how accurate it is still, but good to them. Uh, I'm making progress on that. Um, input uh, like input buffering in advanced controls. So apparently, when you use uh, advanced controls, alternate controls. But when you use when you use alternate controls, you can now buffer special moves without setting to neutral. So before you had to go from down back to down, and then like that. Now I can do it from a crouch, which is awesome. You see, I'm holding down back here. And I'm just going into forward. It works. That's awesome. So now alternate controls could be a viable option for a lot of people now. I'm I'm at this point I'm kinda so used to uh regular controls. Let's see what else. Uh, alright guys, we're back. I guess that was like one of the last changes. At this point it's pretty much it. I've been grinding for like six hours trying to get these changes out to you guys today. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. And you know, if you like what you see, make sure to follow the channel on Twitch. What do you mean on Twitch? I mean on YouTube. I'm so damn tired. <laughs> Subscribe to the YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash FGC7. And sorry like if I couldn't get every optimal thing for every character. I try to get as much as I can as quick of an amount of time. There are a lot of changes to go over. And much of another run for this patch and community. Like you guys better play this. Because like yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want it to be ripped. Anyway. Good talking to you guys. And be sure to check out testyourmite.com for all Injustice related stuff. And thanks to the Injustice forums. You guys really helped me out, really helped me get up to speed with um, doing these videos. Thank you guys so much.